Robin, and my group's presenting on Zimmel. Zimmel had these ideas about social types. One of the social types that he um, talked about that got the most attention was the so-called stranger. Um, he conceptualized the stranger as not the wanderer who comes today and goes tomorrow, but rather the person who comes today and stays tomorrow. Cool, what does that mean? So there are a few components that make up the stranger. Um, the first one being is that the stranger is a member of a system but is not strongly attached to that system. Um, the stranger does not conform completely to the norms of that system. And the stranger is an individual who can be a member of a system in a spatial sense, but not so much in a social sense. So basically, the stranger is someone who is technically a part of the system, but, you know, doesn't have the close ties and connectness, connectedness in a um, social sense. Um, Zimmel noted some disadvantages of the stranger, one of which being um, that members of the system may view them as suspicious because they don't usually partake in predictable behavior. Um, however, um, Zimmel noted a huge advantage of the stranger, and he said that um, the stranger is not radically committed to the unique ingredients and peculiar tendencies of the group, and therefore approaches them with specific attitude of objectivity. It is a particular structure composed of distance and nearness, indifference and involvement. So basically, um, the stranger doesn't carry the biases that other uh, members of the system might have. He views the system from his own unique perspective. Um, my contemporary example is um, the hermit in the workplace, and I see this a lot. So he does not necessarily have friends or close ties with any of his colleagues, nor does he have a passion for the work he performs. Rather, he goes to work on a daily, ba daily basis, get, gets his job done, does what he needs to do, and then goes home. Um, so the stranger component is that he's basically a part of the workforce, but doesn't necessarily have the strong ties to it. Um, Robert Park, another sociologist, was extremely influenced by Zimmel. Um, the stranger led him to his own concepts of marginal man and heterophily. Um, my first question is, who is the stranger? Someone new to the system? Someone a part of the system without attachments? Someone who is only a part of the system for a while? Or slender man? And then, um, which sociologist was influenced by the stranger? Weber, Durkheim, Park, or Walt Disney? And the answers are, um, the stranger is someone a part of the system without attachments, and the sociologist that, influ that was influenced by the stranger was Robert Park. And my references are on the next slide.